On the surface, Arthur's Dummy Disaster is a really interesting episode, but when you dig down a little bit deeper and really begin to analyse the character of George, I think it's so fascinating and something that can actually be very helpful for a lot of people. This is the first segment in the 13th episode of the third season of Arthur, and this is the first time we properly get to meet George. George is the character who is the moose with the dummy called Wally. Wally is a giraffe. And to begin with, he begins to tell jokes through Wally. He does some ventriloquism. Not the best ventriloquism. His mouth is still moving. But nevertheless, everybody seems to really enjoy it. And all of the characters begin to try their own hand at ventriloquism. And Arthur uses his bear Artie and puts on this voice that's on the one hand really annoying. But at the same time, really addictive. And I kind of really liked the voice that he put on. Um, which I thought was just very effectively done. And we get to see all of the children trying their hands at ventriloquism and having fun. But what we, we, we learn is that George isn't just using Wally to have fun. He's actually a very shy, very reserved character. And he has a difficult time speaking up and basically sharing his own voice. So he will do it through the character of Wally. And by having Wally there, he feels confident because he's kind of hiding behind Wally and using Wally as a front. And there's this beautiful bit. This is a tiny spoiler, I guess, as it happens right at the end. But there's this beautiful bit where Arthur has a talk with George and says, you know, Wally's kind of getting on our nerves a bit. We just want to talk to George and really gives George a chance to see that actually people do care about his thoughts. They do want to spend time with him. And he doesn't need to hide behind this dummy. It's great that he can have a hobby, an interest in ventriloquism. But when it comes to communication, people are actually interested in what George has to say, not Wally. And I think it's a, a beautiful look at, first of all, how other children can encourage children to talk like Arthur did. But also it looks at the importance of having a mechanism to help children to find their voice. Because a lot of children are very shy and nervous and, and a lot of... Things like play therapy and just communicating with younger children is often more beneficial and more effective when done through a toy. Um, a, a child who is unable to open up may have a, an easier time telling their soft toys or their teddies something than they would do telling, you know, a, per a perfect stranger or even a family member. And I think that that's a really interesting thing that it looks at and I think it does very effectively. It's a very enjoyable episode um, that I found very moving. Definitely one that's entertaining. But also with a really, really important and really beneficial message.